really lively, so I'm, I'm well pleased with where we are after a couple of days. Yeah, we just want to concentrate on what we do, get better every day, get better every week, every month, and take it into the season. You know, we, we certainly haven't finished with the squad. We've got two or three things that we'd like to do, and that's what we're trying to do. I think that the expectations are what, what we think they are. You know, I'd be a fool to come here and say, yeah, we just want to get better. And if we do get a little bit better, we will be in the playoffs. You know, but uh, the most important thing is that the players are aware of that as well. I think, I think if you look back, we probably lost and left a few more points on the table early on than we should have done. And in the end, it cost us, we, you know, we sort of ran out of games. So we need to start the season really, really well. Coach, how will it help us? I still feel like I'm dreaming, but I'm enjoying the experience, you know. It's great to be a part of Orlando City, so I'm enjoying every bit of it. How's the last two weeks been for you, I mean, since being drafted to being here now, I mean, going from UCF to going pro, I mean, can you just describe the transition so far? I mean, something I dreamed of since I was a little kid, you know, so having to be in the position now of living the dream that I've always dreamed about, it feels great, you know. It took me a couple of days, you know, to let everything sink in, but, you know, I feel good and I'm ready to work. Did you ever see yourself playing for Orlando City, knowing that you went to UCF? I mean, actually, I did. You know, coming to a lot of games this past season, you know, I always experienced myself being part of the family. So I'm happy I'm part of Orlando City. Orlando sitting on newspaper. Check it out, yeah. Do us the favor. Promise that you will love it later. I promise we got Central Florida flavor, yeah.